So far, so good. Okay, so we'll put that aside and play with our signatures. Here we go, loop de loop. Okay, what do we want for the beginning? Something fabulous. The butterfly is kind of nice. The front. I think I'm going to have to fold this. Maybe like a hinge situation. I think I'll just take this and tear it down like that. And also, I need to get a good height for the book. So I don't want the scripts away. So we need one piece of paper that's just going to be like, yep, this is right. I think this is it. This might be the one. Could be taller than that, actually. Yeah, I think it needs to be. Okay, this thing. So if I put this in here, I think that is going to be our size for all the pages. This piece right here, which is kind of not what I expected, but close, close to what I expected. So this will keep as our guide. Some of them are going to be shorter. That's fine. Do we want to hinge it even more so we don't lose? I mean, either way, we're going to lose. How much of this butterfly are we going to lose? I think that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Hopefully, the glue will cooperate. We shall see. Kind of get that up to the edge. And these are going to be sewn in signatures in theory. I mean, I, I might end up using like elastic or something, but I don't think so. I think this is what is going to end up happening. All right, so we've got that. Probably going to make two signatures, I'm thinking. So this is kind of book pagey, so now we can kind of go with something a little more illustrated. Maybe this. This one can almost fold right in half. Not quite, not quite in half. Let's get it right the right side. Maybe this could go here. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks really nice. Okay. Very good. And actually, it can stick out a little bit more to this edge. Do we want that? I don't know if I want that. No, nope, I don't. I'm just going to glue it right to there. So. And I, I thought I was using watercolor on this paper, and it turned out to be gouache. Gouache? Gouache? I don't know how you say it. Oh, that's a little crooked. Me. How did I make that crooked? That's straight. Maybe it's just my fold that's crooked. We'll fix it. There. That's how you fix that. Okay, let's get some glue in here. Okay, I like that. How the heck are we going to attach it to here? <laughs> well, this is one of those where I could actually use, like, signature style. Both. And then it would be like this, and that, and this, and that. So basically, I'm hinging two of every page together. Yeah, this can go to here, and then this much gets folded over. Ooh, that's fragile paper. Kind of like did a little tearing situation. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all right, though. It's all right. I do that I don't I don't want to glue I want this to show and then I want yeah but this is too tall isn't it yes it is so I need to make this shorter 
my new favorite tearing ruler that I love. Okay. Oh, scrap. Scrap, be gone. Not like that. Got another one, another one. Gosh, that could almost go like this. So then I could put that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe like this. Something, something. Maps. And I don't have to decide right now what my front paper is going to be. So that's good. Until I see them all, then I will know better. Like this one's kind of nice. I like this top part. And I know you're going to be too tall. I think I'm just going to chop off the vintage gentleman part. We're just gonna, we're just gonna wing it. Now, what do we want to combine with this? I could do a little, this little guy. Perfect. It's just right. Be like this. That's how it would be. And then like that. Okay, I like that better. Yeah, I do like that a lot better. Okay. So you just have to try it all the places. Just kind of shove that in there. <laughs> this is pretty. What would go with this? It's already got a lot of writing space, so it could go with something else illustrated. Maybe like this. That's kind of, I kind of like that. I'm making it so these are not all exact. We don't want them exact. Just don't. And I think this one we're gonna we're gonna tear off. Are they too tall? Also, just do it the right way. Okay, fine. Pretty straight. I think so. Okay, so it'll be like this and like that. It's a very sunshiny day today. We were trying to figure out where we could go for a walk that wouldn't be muddy. And we just couldn't think of any place <laughs> where you're still actually outdoors. Nope, couldn't think of a place. <laughs> well, that was kind of funny. There we go. Another signature. I know, I'm just like randomly putting that. Is that too wide? Oh, it is a little wide. We'll just... A little off. There we go. Much better. Ooh, this is cool. Got that neat bit on it. We're gonna cut off a bunch of the bottom. Yes, we are. Why? Because we don't need it. Okay. And then we're gonna even out this side. rid of all these fray bits. And then I'm going to fold it this way. And then find something wonderful and colorful to hinge it to. This is really pretty. I want to keep the flower so I can cut, ooh, cut off the top, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. How much do I have to cut off? Oh, not that much. I'm still going to chop off the robins bit, but that's just the way it's got to be. Because I don't want to lose. Well, I guess I could do the bottom. All right. I just don't want to lose the red stuff. But I shouldn't have to. I could actually just do it like this. Put that piece in there. No need to read it. 
Yeah, we're just doing that. There. Oh, this thing's going to be huge if I use everything in here. Okay, so that one is fine by itself. And I like to use this. And it looks like if we just fold it like so, it should be good. And that's a really thin piece, so I can just stay in there like that. I really like this paper. I really don't need how wide I can make this. There we go. And how tall? Need it to be shorter. So where do we want to take it off? I think the top. We'll, we'll take off the top. And then we can attach something to this side. But what? But what say you? Maybe like this piece. I mean, I'm, I could just leave this folded. I could. I'm just going to glue that under there. And then I'll open up like so. This will flip like so. I may end up modifying that a little bit, but... So far, so good. Very random. I don't think I need two of those. That'll be excessive. This little bunny is cute. I think I should fold it right there. Right there the bunny is. And then, put something on here. And I have to think about how wide these book pages are. Look at this. That was a rather neat thing, I flatter myself, said Uncle Mac. <laughs> oh, this is really pretty. Oh, you're not even seeing what I'm seeing. See this little urn here? And then them in the boat. And then this one, another boat picture. So let's see how I'm going to do this so that we can get the most out of this. We can glue these together. Like so. Very nice. Let's see, how much do I want to go? I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. Now I'm happy. And this can go here. Oh, look at that. And it says a lovely day on this side. That's perfect. Okay. Oh, this is too wide, I bet. Oh, yes, it is. We're going to trim that off. Oh, that's cute. So it's going to stick out a little bit. I'm going to do it now. Okay, fine. Just let it go. It'll be way easier now than it will be then, right? Yeah, it will. It will, it will. You know it, I know it. Everybody knows it. Okay. And I want to use this, too. And this is more of a book pagey, so maybe a decorative excited to use this piece. There was one stamp on there, so I don't want to lose that. And this is too tall. Cutting off Kuba. Sorry, Kuba. Apples. Whoa. Hello. Looks like my vintage photo needed to say hello to everyone, so... Hi from Vintage Photo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And I think we're going to go right there. I like this paper. This is very cool. And then we could use this paper. And if we're going to do it, we're going to do, we're just going to take 
one of these right in the middle of that line and we're gonna rip it precariously Ooh, that's good paper isn't that good paper this could be like a piece in and of itself but this way and that way I think that's good we're just gonna make sure we went to the edge which we didn't that's okay and then that'll open like so I got it did that right right okay the sides pretty good a little more more clean. There we are. There, and it's got a little stamp, a real one, right in there. How cool is that? Okay, got another one. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I like this one because it's Sleeping Beauty, so you can kind of imagine those are all red roses. They're not colored in yet, but when they are, they're going to be red. For sure. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. So pretty. Now we've got the same situation again where we may have to shorten this thing up. Or I could just do it like that. That looks good. I like it. Do I need? I like the copyright, but it's got the date on here, so that doesn't matter. Just, it's fine. Okay, there's that. I know I'm gonna do some cheatering. I want this to go pretty much to that edge because I think we need all of it for the width. I still have to trim a little off is fine and then I want to glue this edge that edge this edge oh, this paper is pretty crumbly crumbly okay but cool they're just a little too short for this job can she do it we did it. Okay, let go. Let go. Oh, these are coming along nicely. Do we have any ledger in here yet? And the ledger is nice because the ledger can go this way. Just want to make sure we're not too wide. Just a little. Just a smidge. We're going to cut all of our rounded corners off. What? I know, I know, I know. There. You're just good right by yourself. So we're going to do another one just like that. <laughs> Got a nice map one. Ooh, I did want to use this too. You get to be by yourself. See, now I need a one-sided paper. How silly was that? This could be one-sided. That the other side is boring. There we go. I'm just going to glue that down. Oh, the bathtub. Come on. Guess you're getting glued this way. There we go. No, no, no. This is tall. Okay. So let's just make it short. Now what? I've got all this blank space on the back of this. And this pink, I'm not very fond of. So let's do something with that. The same size as the botanical. 
now. Let's make something out of this. I mean, is that too much? I can make this a pocket. Ooh, let's make it a pocket. Okay. Length for this trimmer, but it works. It'll work. And then this goes here. And we're making it a pocket. Yes. All right. The little bits. And then, oh, I like that. That's good stuff. Woo! Ooh, some food. Carrots. Yummy. I'll take those. Thank you. Thank you very much. I got some carrots. The roasted carrots in the air fryer. My husband has a cool trick for that. Pretty talented. We are using ghee, which is like clarified butter. You know about this? Clarified means it rises to the top. Yep, I learned that. I know all about it now. So it's really butter. It's just clarified butter. I don't want this here. Um, we're going to have to get rid of that. That little pink showing. Anyway, you just put like the seasoning on it. I forget what seasoning he uses. But anyway, he does them and then he just throws the carrots in the air fryer. And they're so I mean they're like magic carrots, to be honest with you. Do you want to see them? I have them right here. You can look at them. They're amazing. Here we go. See? Ooh. <laughs> Oh, you don't mean they're too hot. Hmm. Hot. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Why are they amazing? I don't know. But they are. Oh, now I can use this. Yes. It's a little wide. That's okay. What side do I want to take off? Maybe this side? We're going to take a little off of each. How about that? That will be all centered. Do you like it when things are centered? I do. I really, really do. That makes me happy. And then, ta-da! Oh, no. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Okay, here we go. Does that work? Yes! It's like there has to be a way. There is. There is, you silly. So there is another signature. All right, I'm going to stop and eat my carrots and figure out, I'll come back and we'll talk about how many signatures we have and whether or not we need more.